In today's video from ShopStuff, we're taking a look at receipt header message programming on the XEA213 register. So we're going to briefly demonstrate how you change from the default sharp message to your pub or business name. I'm going to use the top three lines to demonstrate how to enter double size characters, lowercase characters and a website address and then also a phone number. You've got up to six lines. I'm going to show you how to do the top three and then explain how to do the, the bottom four, five and six as well. But to keep the video under a reasonable amount of time, I'm not going to do the whole receipt header. I'll have another video showing you if you only want free line header message, how you can actually get rid of the bottom three as well, which will save a bit of paper for you. That will be appearing at the end of this video. Uh, the process is very similar to how you do it on the 203. Um, I've done a previous video on the 203, but it, because of the different keyboard layout, there's a there's a few little tweaks um, and adjustments you have to make. Um, the first thing to bear in mind is, as default on the machine, the receipt header you get is centered. However, if you just type in your um, lines for your receipt header, it'll left justify them, so they'll all be skewed over to the left. So the first thing to bear in mind is, if you want it looking nice and centered, you have to plan out what you're going to write. Uh, on each line you can get up to 24 characters and if you use double size like I'm going to use on at least one of the lines then that takes up two spaces. Um, so if we look at the example I've got here, it's a bit messy but it will help me program the machine. I'm going to set line 1 to sharp help all in double size. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18 because they're double size plus the space. So I've got 19 characters to use up. I've got a max of 24, so I can either enter two or three spaces to get it as centred as possible. I'm going to enter two. The line below is all lowercase and includes 19 characters. So again, I'm going to enter two spaces. And the phone number at the bottom is 16, so I'm going to enter four spaces. It'll make more sense when I actually come to do it. Um, the other thing you need, obviously, is the, the alpha overlay. So you take off the main keyboard and then pop the alpha overlay on the top. Um, so when you're ready, um, key round to the PGM position, then press subtotal, move that out of the way for now actually so you can see what I'm doing, then four dot, which takes you into the um, logo message programming, for line one you press number one and then the multiply button. So now whatever you type in now is what's going to appear on line one of your receipt header. I want two spaces to start with, pop in two spaces and then I'm going to put this line in double size, um, so there's a DC button and you get a W appear there which means you're locked into double size characters, so sharp, then I'm going to take the double size off to just pop a space in, double size back on, sharp help, okay. Uh, then subtotal to save. Now if you're just doing one line, um, you could press TL and S to now save this and exit the program, but I'm obviously going on to line two. What I wouldn't mind just looking at is if you feed the paper forward a bit, you can double check um, what you've got on there. So we can see sharp helps spelled correctly and is in all in bold. So I'm now happy to move on to line two. So it says enter line number, so you simply go 2, followed by multiply, and then whatever you type in now is what's going to appear on line 2. Which if I refer back to my little crib sheet, I've got the website www.sharphelp.co.uk. So I pop this back on, I've calculated that I need another two spaces at the start. I'm in, not going to use double size, so I don't need to press the DC button, but I am. I do want it in lowercase, and the machine defaults to uppercase. If you press shift, you should get a little A up here, which means you're locked into lowercase entry. Ah, that's interesting. So if you make a mistake, like I've just done, there is a backspace button up here. Because I want the decimal point, or the dot, for the website address, I need to come out of the shift menu and then go back into it so you get the little A appear and disappear to tell you whether you're in or out of lowercase entry. Shift again, dot, shift, co, shift, dot, 
shift UK so that line is in and as far as I'm aware it's correct so I press subtotal again just because it's a web I always get the websites wrong one digit out so you can use this to feed forward and check what you've done that all looks okay to me so line three is multiply uh, free and then X and then now we pop in the phone number and on that one I needed four spaces I want the TEL in caps one of those space and then the numbers are just here so I've got five zeros obviously for your area code they're all along here I'm just putting in them made up phone number. Ah, I saved it didn't I? Press subtotal to save it, so I've messed that one up, but it doesn't really matter because I can feed forward and see how far I've got. I was getting too far ahead while I was talking, so I've done that line wrong, so I need to go back into it by pressing free, multiply. It's slightly annoying because I've got to type it in again, so it's one, two, three, four spaces, T E L space that's what I did I, pre I went to press space and I press subtotal because I'm starting to waffle on so there we go it's just a made up phone number um, once you again once you put it in you press subtotal to save it which then gives you the opportunity to jump to the next slides so obviously if you're going to go on and program lines four five and six then you go in and do four multiply put in whatever you want for that line followed by subtotal and then repeat the process for five multiply whatever you want for that line subtotal six multiply whatever you want for that line subtotal when you've entered all the lines you want to program you press TLNS key round to reg and the next sale or transaction you process should have your new receipt header message on there Obviously, mine's only the top three lines, so I don't think that looks loads better once you personalise it. just looks a lot more professional if you're giving out till receipts. Um, in my next video, which I'll put up at the end of this one, there'll be a link showing you how to, another video showing you how to get rid of the bottom three. Obviously, if you've programmed your three, you might want to, you can actually set the machine so you can put six lines at the top. Um, so that's worth bearing in mind. I'll, in, I'll include a video as well on how to do that. Okay, if you found that video helpful, uh, then please subscribe to the channel. Check out our other videos. We'll try and post as many as we can on the old Sharp Tools. And for full information, you can visit sharphelp.co.uk. Thanks for watching.